Are you having a lot of diarrhea? Modern diets high in fructose could be a major cause of that diarrhea. Let's discuss why. First, it helps to understand how we digest sugars to appreciate how cool the process is and how it's susceptible to problems with a modern diet. And then we're gonna discuss some of the sources of fructose in your diet, some of which I think will surprise you. Our GI tract can only absorb simple one unit sugars. It cannot absorb the complex starches that are present in vegetables and bread. And the breakdown of those sugars starts with digestive enzymes that are present in our saliva and made by our pancreas. They break these complex starches down into simpler two and three unit sugars. Other sugars we eat start as two units of sugar. Take sucrose, common table sugar. It consists of glucose and fructose stuck together like a pair of Legos. Enzymes on our intestinal lining help to break that down. Specifically, sucrase breaks the bond between the sucrose and then we're left with the glucose and fructose. And now finally, we can absorb those. We do so through specialized pumps dedicated to each type of sugar. The glucose pump is high powered and it can absorb a large amount of glucose. The fructose pump, not so much. It's actually dependent on the process of glucose to actively absorb it. And otherwise the fructose is just drifting through your intestines into your blood. And so that fructose pour can get very quickly overwhelmed if there's excess fructose in our diet. And I mentioned sucrose consists of equal parts glucose and fructose. And that combination is perfect for your gut to be able to readily absorb all the fructose. But when fructose starts to be in excess of glucose, your gut lining may not be able to absorb it. And that excess fructose is going to make its way down into the colon. It's going to carry with it water, and that's going to cause your stools to be more loose. And that fructose will be digested by bacteria in your colon, and that's going to produce gas. The result? Loose stools, diarrhea, bloating, and flatulence. So now that we understand how fructose causes diarrhea, let's talk about specific sources of sugars that have a high amount of fructose. Now everyone's gonna immediately think of high fructose corn syrup, which actually comes in several different varieties. Some of these are only approximately 40% fructose, and that really won't cause much diarrhea. However, the type that's used in soda is over 50, it's often called HFCS 55, which denotes that it's 55% fructose, enough that it could cause you to have malabsorption and diarrhea. Some forms of high fructose corn syrup are even 90%, and that is certain to cause just as much diarrhea as castor oil. What may surprise you is that honey is nature's original high fructose corn syrup. All those bees swarming around, they're collecting sugar, fruits, and flowers. That is very concentrated in fructose. Now, not all varieties of honey are high in fructose, but some are. And so if you notice that the honey that you're using seems to be making your stool looser, this could be why. So I would discourage people from having an excessive amount of honey, and it's sometimes promoted as some sort of wonder food. The fact is that the antioxidants that are available in it, the trace minerals, there's really no special health benefit from those. You could get them by just eating the plants and the vegetables that the bees are sourcing their sugar from. Agave syrup has become very popular because it's a staple for making an authentic margarita. However, its fructose content can be near 80%. Fructose tastes sweeter than glucose, and that sweetness helps to balance the lime. So it is a nice choice for making a tasty margarita, but that could also be why too many margaritas are causing you some diarrhea. Another surprising source of excess fructose in your diet is apples. There's the old saying that an apple a day will keep the doctor away but it might very well send you running to your GI doctor with diarrhea. Apples are super sweet and that makes them tasty for the desserts, something that is also true for pears, cherries, and mangoes. The other thing I want you to be aware of is that apple juice is a common staple for toddlers. And so pediatric diarrhea can sometimes be caused by a child having too much apple juice. So what fruits could you have instead? Well, many of the berries as well as bananas are relatively low in fructose and these should not cause you too many problems. Would you imagine that vegetables could have too much fructose? Some are actually listed on the FODMAP diet as having fructose in excess of glucose. Asparagus and sugar snap peas are notable examples. However, I doubt that the amount of fructose in asparagus is really what's causing the diarrhea because it's just simply not that much, even if it is proportionally higher than the glucose content. Rather, it has raffinose, a complex vegetable sugar that our digestive enzymes are unable to break down. So that'll reach the colon where colonic bacteria will break it down, causing bloating and diarrhea. So if you eat some asparagus, don't only be prepared for smelly pee, but 
perhaps also some flatulence and diarrhea. Of course, the list goes on, but I want to emphasize this point. At the end of your digestion process, whether the sugar came from nature or was added by man, it's going to be broken down and it's going to be absorbed in the same way. Problem is, if fructose exceeds the amount of glucose, it could cause you to have diarrhea. I hope you found this helpful. In the future, we'll discuss other sugars and sweeteners and how they can affect your gut health. So please subscribe to be alerted to the release. Thank you and be safe.